all the time, so I'm not going to try and kill you with PowerPoint. Um, but this is my chance to network with you all. So um, the, title, the title is what it is. But if anything from, from today's pres uh, presentation, I want you to take away this message. <laughs> this is the most important message of the day. I currently uh, uh, reside in Hamilton, but I'm an ex-Gisborne boy, uh, ex-Lytton High boy, um, so loving it, uh, love the living here and so forth, but uh, when you're up in the Waikato, you got to support. So that's one of my major networking plugs, is yes, we are the champions, and the game was awesome. If you were lucky enough to be there, good on you. I couldn't, I had to do it from the comfort of my couch, but it was an awesome game. So another year down, back to back, so just awesome for the fellas. If you support the other teams, kāroha, it's all good. There's another year coming. But uh, yeah, no, that was pretty cool. So what am I supposed to be doing? What, what is this about? Networking. So last year we did the Texpo and we looked at, okay, what can it do? What's it about? This year, obviously we've extended it, uh, or the group have extended it, not me. Um, and we wanted to basically, well I want to, enhance the networking opportunity. Now, as Māori, as New Zealanders, as Kiwis, networking it pretty much comes naturally. However, my personal opinion, this isn't a, an overall thing, but my personal opinion is um, more of us need to think a bit globally, more globally, and I think we are getting to that. I've seen a couple of presentations today, uh, the one this morning from Drew, I thought really had some poignant points around thinking outside the box, around how you approach networking. So my question is networking, so what? We all do it. The world is actually smaller than you think. Um, and especially for our youth, they're out in the world more than we are digitally, online. So what does that mean? Uh, basically the quote I, and I don't remember, I don't know who made this quote, but basically, be careful Whose toes you step on today, they may be connected to the foot that kicks your butt behind tomorrow. There are other versions of it, like it may be connected to the foot or the butt you have to kiss later on. But basically the world is a smaller place now. Uh, you've heard the sayings of, you know, there's two degrees of separation in New Zealand. Uh, in the digital world, it's about a click away. Two clicks of separation, really. So... My, 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 I suppose, uh, phrase to the group is, the world really is smaller than you think. You are actually actual global citizens right now. Um, the Facebook users, which I know is out there with everybody. Um, and I think it's an opportunity for us to use it in a way that we haven't thought of before. We heard of all these terms like LinkedIn, YouTube, uh, Facebook, all these kind of things that are happening now. They're the new address books. So back in the day, and, and not too long ago, was a little kind of roller deck that used to be next to the phone, and you used to slide it up and down from A to Z, and you used to press the button, and you used to pop up, and you kind of, yep, ring auntie so-and-so, ring uncle so-and-so, and, and, and so forth. These days, you don't see many of those. These days, we use what's called social media. So what is LinkedIn? What is Facebook? What is Twitter? Now, my current role is I am the national IT manager for Te Wāranga Aotearoa, and I'm lucky to have that position, and I'm grateful for it every day. But in saying that, I am not an expert in IT all the time. So I'm learning social media every day. I'm learning to tweet. I've got one of my staff showing me how to tweet and how to do Facebook. I literally don't use Facebook, which is really bad. Um, but I'm learning it. And so people think, well, you're the IT manager. You're supposed to know everything. Uh, and I go, no. Um, so I ask the question, well, what are these things? What do I use them for? My view on it, LinkedIn is your new business connections. It's your new business card. I don't have any business cards here uh, today. I don't, didn't bring any, and I purposely don't carry business cards anymore. The reason is, it's something that sits in your pocket, you give it to someone, they put it in their pocket. It's not necessarily active in your mind. Where are people active? They're active online. They're active on Facebook. They're active on LinkedIn. That's where I want them to know me, not necessarily a card in their pocket or at the bottom of the bag and so forth. 
So it's thinking about what, what those uh, social media channels can be used for. Facebook. Now, I am, I am actually in awe of Facebook. Uh, I've sat uh, in, a, in a room, I've been to a restaurant where people who go to dinner are actually looking at their phones. They sit across from each other, and they're actually like this all night on their phones. And they're having conversations with, them, with each other and others around them and others across uh, around the world. So I'm sitting there, well, what's this about? I look at Facebook as, from a, from a networking perspective, it is your testimonial. It's your word of mouth. The best, there's nothing that beats word of mouth, face to face, kanohi ki te kanohi. But if you're over in Auckland and I'm in the beach at Gisborne, which I always want to be, you know, you don't have that luxury. So Facebook, everyone's on their phones at Facebook, so they always ask, what do you think of this? This was good, this was great, I went here, I went there. So, if you're looking at networking and social media, Facebook is an opportunity for testimonials. The flip side to that, it's an opportunity for criticism. So, if you don't do networking well, or uh, as Drew said, be careful with, um, with your relationships and so forth, Facebook can actually work against you. It ties into what I was saying is, the world is smaller than you think. What you say on Facebook, what you say on the internet is there forever. Um, and thankfully I'm just on Facebook and I'm very, very careful of what I say. I don't necessarily want people to see what I'm doing on a Saturday night, uh, which isn't much to be honest. But, and Facebook is very public. So I look at that space as a, a space that people can really recommend you or not recommend you in those relationships. Twitter, I, I've grown to like Twitter. Uh, again, I'm not, a, I'm not a, a big user, but I've found my business connections, my networking opportunities actually grow in Twitter. Um, interests, things that I'm interested, that I think probably other people aren't interested in, um, I get a lot of return on that and, and basically create those connections. It is that virtual way of connecting with people. Uh, it's a way of seeing what's happening right now. So I actually went to Twitter and said, how do you use it? Um, I asked about different things. What about this? What about that? And I got floods of um, basically returned replies from people telling me, you can use it for this, you can use it for that. That amount of uh, networking that came back to me is more than if I spent 10 hours on a plane traveling from place to place to place. So those relationships, that input, I find very valuable, and it tells me what's happening right now. So what's actually the, f the finger on the pulse right now? I mentioned to Maurice before, is, and Russ, you might have to um, pick this up, I couldn't find the Texpo Twitter account. And I was, I was looking, searching for it, searching for it, but I can't find it. So I think next time we will definitely have that going. And our own hashtag. And, and our own hashtag, yes. So because right now, people, I'm actually tweeting to people about today, about presentations. They're retweeting it out across the sphere, and those people are retweeting it out across the sphere. So while we sit in here today, many of us will be emailing, many of us will be tweeting, many of us will be texting each other. Hey, this is good. Hey, this isn't so bad. So in this room, we may have 20 people. We could have one person. But collectively, we are the sum of all our connections in all our networks. The other part is showing your skills. I have very limited skills, I'm always learning. That's why I'm in tertiary education. I'm constantly learning. How do you do this stuff? Show your skills, even if you don't think it's relevant. Prime example, I've just gotten into mountain biking. Well, first of all, I first got on a bike after 20 years. That was the start. But I, I had to get back into it. And I don't know if anyone here does mountain biking. Bikes these days are totally different. I did not know bikes had hydraulic brakes. I did not know that it had suspensions and backwards and forwards and left and right. So I walked into a shop going, what is this stuff? I just want a typical bike with two wheels and pedals. Uh, I'm, most of you probably know bikes don't come with pedals anymore. Did anyone know that? No? So when you go buy a bike, you actually have to buy the pedals separately? I was like, what? Really? So um, I thought that was pretty strange, but obviously I'm a bit 
this kidding is. So I was tweeting and I was Facebooking different people going, um, bro, um, I just went to the bike shop and um, they're going to sell me a bike, but then I have to buy the pedals separately. What's up with that? And they said, that's just the way it is now. Because apparently you change your pedals like you change your shoes. And I thought, okay, it's a new world, it's all different. So I was asking people in the mountain biking world their expertise, their skills, just to help me in this space that I'm learning. Now many of us do this already. I say bring the world to you. Working in IT for a little while now, I, I'm lucky enough to uh, play with tools, toys I suppose many people say. And all this technology comes through. So you've got the new iPhone, and you've got the new Android, and you've got the new iPod, and the new i whatever it is actually coming out, and, and so on. You then go on the internet and you've got Google this and Google that. And then you've got Windows this and Windows that. You then got all these cloud solutions, Dropbox this, you know, um, Sync this, Skype this. You've got YouTube. Um, I don't watch TV anymore. I watch YouTube. I don't watch YouTube on my computer. I watch YouTube on my TV. I create my own TV channels through YouTube. So I subscribe to the ones that I find interesting because I can never find anything good on TV anyway. So I thought, well, why am I watching TV that I don't you know, want to look at? So I subscribe to channels on YouTube, and I choose my own channels. I choose my own TV viewing. I use Sky purely to record channels that I can't watch during the day or during the night, or that I just don't want to watch at that time. So the world is coming to me. I'm determining. I'm, I'm creating my own world. So YouTube TV is now YouTube to me, and there are a number of others, uh, Vivo, Hulu, all those kind of things. I've got a friend who watches Hulu through the US, and he lives in Hamilton. I go, how do you do that? He goes, easy. I set up a connection. He's got a space in the US. He does it all online, runs his TV channel in the US, which pipes over through to Hamilton. So he's watching US television for, I think it's like $5 a, a month, uh, which is a lot cheaper than Sky at the moment. Sorry if there are any Sky resellers in the, in the place. Didn't want to dog that. Social media. I've mentioned this before. We're doing this all the time. And you'll see a lot of, a lot of businesses, and no doubt those of you who are in business right now, are thinking, oh, I need to get my web page, my Twitter page, my Facebook, and I need someone to run that. And it's got to be active. Do that. Choose your social media channels carefully. When you're networking, one of the things that I know personally is I hate getting bombarded by emails, by texts, by tweets, by so on. So I choose very carefully how to engage. And I think it's not a bad thing, but depending on your business model, or depending on what your interests are, choose your channels carefully. Uh, Facebook for me is a, probably a more of a personal space. Um, the other channels, but I, I see the opportunity in business relationships and networking. So, and if you don't know how to use social media, just ask. There's millions of people out there using it. Not all of them good, but at least you can go through and you can find the, the, the good parts in there. So I believe bring the world to you. The world is actually watching you. So uh, I think probably everyone in this room has some point in time, created an email or put their details on a computer, on a form, and it's gone into a system. If you put anything on the internet, the world has, has the, is basically watching you. In networking today, the reason I don't carry business cards is I may ask Russ, hi Russ, I'm Warren, and so on. So by the time I've left Russell, within 10 minutes, I would have scoured Google to see what, what he does where he lives. Russell says he lives in Gisborne. I'll be able to find out where he lives in Gisborne. I can actually see Russell's house if he's good enough to give me his address, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend that. And I can find directions from wherever I am to his house within the next five minutes. I can find out basically how many conferences and how many presentations he's done over the last year. You can do that with me. I can find out basically what he does on the weekends. It does sound a bit scary. And no, I, no, I don't work for the GSCB, GSCB sorry. Um, 
But networking is basically that's an example of the world watches you more than you watch it. Okay? So when you look at the speakers over the next two days, many of you are looking through the profiles of the programs and going, okay, this is so-and-so, so-and-so. Half of you will at least Google them, and, and at least a quarter of you would go and search out their Facebook or Twitter or whatever, just to see what their interests are, just to see whether there are similarities, just to see whether there's opportunities, which is what networking is about. Are there opportunities? One thing I do need to, to share, though, with, it has to be, in my personal view, is reciprocity. A reciprocal relationship is better than a one-way relationship. Uh, Drew also mentioned this morning around LinkedIn, people accept. So they invite you to LinkedIn, you go, yep, accept, accept, accept. Or Facebook, yes, friend, friend, friend. There's nothing wrong with being selective around that. There's nothing wrong with saying, do I actually know this person? Because as soon as you invite them in, they, they see everything about you. Um, you can be cautious, you can be, it doesn't matter, it doesn't really matter sometimes, just go full on. I think it's just something to think about. Depending on where, where you are in, in your life, what you're doing in your life, I think it's important because it will be with you for life. I love this part. Location, location, location. One of the things I am lucky with my job, and hopefully many of you are with yours, is that I have, my workspace is basically a flat desk. That's all I need. The flat desk, whether it's, I do prefer it on the beach in Gisborne, to be honest, over in Wainui, but whether it's in a coffee shop in Auckland, whether it's in the airport at LA, whether it's on a bridge in a taxi in London, as long as you have access, it doesn't matter where you are in the world. And I'm a big advocate of the, the potential of what Gisborne has to offer. The potential I see is the beaches along the coast. The potential I see is the people, and, and I witnessed that today with the uh, Lytton High School students, the, the brain power, the, the creativity that sits here, that that generates within the East Coast, within Tairawhiti, that is not, and not to be mean, stunted by the big city kind of thinking, by the cubicle office type walls that I believe limit your creativity, by the structures within business corporate areas that basically um, close in on that creativity to a point where it sometimes squashes it. I totally believe that providing a service from your deck at home while in the sun is much more happier and much more productive than in a cubicle in a cold kind of level one building somewhere. So that's where the, the potential. Location, and, I, and many of us have got examples. When I was first starting out with uh, Facebook, I was actually in LA and a person from Narawahia Facebook me to ask for my wife's contact details who was in Hamilton. And I was like, well, hold on. I'm over here and you're asking me how to get a hold of her and she's literally 15 minutes down the road. However, they, knew, they didn't know where I was, well, not except for my wife, but the person who was asking didn't know, oh, can you just tell me? And so at that point I thought, it doesn't matter where I am in the world, she could get me within that minute. So of course, I said, yep, go here, go there, go there. And by the way, I've just got to get onto a plate. Has anyone else got an example of that that's happened, you know, being in different places and connecting? So that's, I think that's, that's definitely one of, the, um, one of the beauties of technology, one of the beauties of what networking should be. What networking should, sorry, you're going to ask something? Yeah, yeah. It, it is great. It is great. And many of the time when you get that urgent call and you're driving on the motorway to somewhere, it's easy enough just to pull over, do what you need to do while they're all running around. And yeah, it is good. And I love that. I love just, I love being out. I love being out of the, 
the spaces that they, we, don't, we don't need to blo block ourselves in. So I'm hitting the 19 minute mark there, Russ, and I'm very much around time. I like to keep, try and keep on time. So, <laughs> so um, to end with, this is actually my business card. That's who I am. There's the business stuff at the top, the bit that I'm really interested in. I'm interested in mountain biking. So if anyone here who does mountain biking, who knows some good stuff around that, please tell me. I lived in Gisborne, born and bred in Gisborne. I'm, I haven't yet, I haven't yet. But apparently people say yes, they say that. Have you done this, have you done that? I said, no, not yet. But living in Gisborne, unfortunately I was a terrible surfer. I, I was just no good at it, so I had to find something else to do. How do you get a hold of me? Um, the number one thing is I don't carry a wallet either. Mind you, I don't have much money in it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, but the one thing I do carry is my phone. So here's my phone number. Feel free to text me, whatever. Um, that is the one thing everybody I know carries. Twitter is where I am on Twitter. Google Plus, again, I'm learning Google Plus, the whole Google Hangout. I'm not sure if anyone uses that. I find there's huge potential in that as well, um, especially connecting businesses. There's the old school email, and I have found, uh, sadly, only the old people use email. And when I say old people, anyone born before the year 2000. So, uh, yes. And of course, Skype. Skype is just a number of uh, other things uh, connecting. So, um, now, before I get a, a number of, um, hopefully, but if not, that's fine, um, introductions, a digital introduction to me, just say, hi. I watched your presentation at the Texpo, and then I'll go, cool. And then by the time you finish that, I would have Googled you, I would have found out where you live, and hopefully what your interests are. So, um, yeah, that's me. That's me around um, networking. The title actually says the essential uh, networking, how it's essential to business and IT strategy. Business and IT strategy is just the fluffy words for a plan to get to the future. That's all it is. You can't get there alone. And it's great to link with your whānau. It's great to link with your businesses around you. It's great to link with home, people from home who are like-minded as well. So that's me. Kia ora tato. Thank you very much for your time. By the way, I'm just connected with you. I'm, I'm, I'm not stalking you at all, but um, I think you're out of milk. I'm out of milk. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll text the